Hey guys, welcome to another month of my creative year 2020. So, fun fact, we did all the prompts and word lists and everything for the entire year uh, back before the holidays. I forget now exactly when it was, I think sometime between um, Halloween and Thanksgiving here in America. Um, one of the other ladies could tell you for sure, but I think it was around there. Um, who would have known that what would happen in the world would happen? Um, <laughs> just, uh, I've just discovered over the last few weeks some interesting coincidences. For instance, uh, I don't think we could have predicted we would be shut in and asked to stay at home and then have this month's prompt be the colors around you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know we could have foresaw that. Um, but that's what the prompt is this month. So the colors around you. This year, as you know, we are working with color for the entire year, exploring co the use of color, um, unusual combinations of colors we maybe haven't tried before. Some things are going to be successes. Some are going to be failures, but we're okay with that because we're just playing and we're learning and growing, right? So this month, I want you to explore the world around you, whether it's your creative space like mine, which is, this is my space. Hang on. Those who haven't seen it yet, this is my space. Cluttered, beige, but comfortable. <laughs> yeah. Work on the wall, mostly mine. Not not all, but most of it's mine. Out my art room window. We're right next to the woods, and it's a protected wildlife area full of deer and raccoons and all kinds of things. It's the colors of your creative space, the colors of your house. My house happens to be um, earthy, woodsy colors, beiges and creams and greens, and then a little bit of oceany, tealy blues thrown in. Um, our front door is red, <laughs> fun fact. Um, so whether it's the color of your house or the color of your creative space or the color of your uh, favorite flowers in your yard, or in my case, I have the woods outside. I want you to explore the use of the colors inspired by the world around you. Wherever you happen to be in the world and in your house, in your yard, I want you to focus on that. So fun fact, almost every single night we go on an evening walk, we're still allowed to do that, keep maintaining safe distance. Um, if you're watching this in the future, it's because of the COVID-19 um, coronavirus. Um, and um, I almost always take pictures of something while I'm out on my walk, and I share it um, on social media, usually Instagram, uh, today's views. So um, I'm always taking pictures with my phone, and I'm always being inspired by, by whatever it is around me, colors, shapes, form, composition. I want you to do that this month. So um, we are going to go take a look in the woods. We're going to take some pictures. I'm going to show you them next, whatever it is I'm inspired to use or to do. And we're going to create a little painting or a piece of artwork or a journal page inspired by that. Yeah? I'll be right back. Okay, so before I take you outside here for more, some more inspiration on things you can look at to be inspired by color, shape, texture, and composition around you. I'm gonna insert a few pictures. So there's one of uh, this pretty purpley pink flower I actually took that was in a neighbor's yard uh, a few blocks down when we were out for one of our evening walks. And you'll see this picture here, and I will put it in a Dropbox file. You all can download it if you'd like and work from that. Uh, and then the next picture here is the watercolor I did from the picture, inspired by the picture. And while I did um, uh, suggest the shape and form of the flower, I also was inspired by the color. It was just such a beautiful flower. Um, so that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. Take it and spin it however works for you with your art style. Um, let me go take you on... It's 46 degrees. Yes, I'm in short sleeves. <laughs> I do have my galoshes on. Uh, it's a little bit rainy, but let's go into the woods and let me just show you a couple things. Just the woods just fascinate me. Hold on. I do this without getting the camera too wet, but these literally are the woods next to my house. That's the edge of my house right there. That tree there is somewhere between 800 and 1,000 years old. The tree people aren't sure exactly. It's, you can see it outside of one of the upstairs bedroom windows. Um, we're covered in vines and these pretty yellow flowers. Sometimes there's 
really pretty yet wildly poisonous mushrooms out here. There's deer, lots of beautiful shades of green and the texture of the bark, all sorts Just of Take things. a look, be inspired by what's around you. Take some photos with your phone. If you're like me, you always have your phone with you. Take some photos, I always have it in hand and I'm always telling my family, stop pictures. <laughs> so I drive them crazy, just FYI. Anyway, I'm going to see what pictures I can um, get for you and then we're gonna create a piece of artwork different than the flower and um, we're gonna work on that. In the meantime, I want you to take some pictures and I want you to use that, uh, whatever pictures you get to inspire you in your work this month, yes? And I want you to share in the group. I'd love to see what y'all come up with. Not only the original picture, but the, also the artwork. Yeah? All right. I'm going to go check the mail. I'm going to try to take some pictures, and I'll be back. Okay, guys. So we talked in the last clip, um, which I actually filmed yesterday, but you just saw it. Oops, sorry. The camera is very shaky. Okay. we saw You saw in the last clip where we talked about the colors around you. And um, I showed you those yellow flowers that are next to my house and here is a picture I took of them. I will put this picture into Dropbox somewhere along with the one that I showed you already of the uh, purpley pink flower and then you guys can use those for inspiration for artwork this month or future artwork. Um, I took this picture and using it as inspiration pulled these colors of paint from my stash. So we're gonna create a journal page using those. I have a particular idea in mind. And I have also some brown paper I wanna use. This is just painter's paper. If you hear little toenails or whimpering, it's because I'm babysitting uh, my daughter and future son-in-law's dog while they're all at the new house doing demolition and she's not too happy to be left home alone with grandma, so. All right. We are going to fast forward through my process and we'll be right back.
Okay, in that fast forward, you saw me create, inspired by the picture that I took on a w evening walk. And I could have, um, I'm still allowed to go walking. Uh, if you're watching this in the future, I am filming this in March of 2020 in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. And we, at this time, are requested to stay home as much as possible. We're still allowed to go uh, for... Um, daily exercise, keeping a uh, safe distance, six feet from people who we don't live with. And um, so my husband and I do do that. And I did take this in one of those walks. I could have taken it in my driveway because I have these same bushes in my driveway, as you saw from the video. So inspired by this picture, I created a journal spread, which I love. I love the way this came out. It's simple. It was quick. And I love the way it looks and the message that came across on it. Um, and then also you could, you don't have to do something like this. You could just do a background with whatever colors it is palette that's inspiring you, which I did here. And I can use this on an art paper clip, which I do make, not as many as I was making, but um, I do make art 
little art paper clips or I can use it on a tag or I can use it in a future journal page. So whatever it is, I want you to be inspired by the colors around you this month. I want you to experiment with those color palettes. I want you to create some art with it. I want you to share said color palettes and maybe some inspiration photos here in the group My Creative Year. If you're watching this on YouTube and you're not a member of My Creative Year and you'd like to be, the link is in the description below. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below for me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. In the midst of this pandemic, all of us worldwide, uh, in whatever kind of business you are, are financially struggling, especially artists and people who work from home. So if you have a particular YouTuber or art, um, artist, Facebook creative that you follow, that you would like to support, that you're able to support, most of them have a way to do that. If they're on YouTube, it's probably in their video description. Mine definitely is. So please check out their video descriptions. They probably have a PayPal tip jar or an Etsy shop or a Patreon or something. I have a bunch of different things. Check out the video description. And don't forget to do your due diligence and stay safe stay distant, and wash your hands. That's it for today. Don't forget to go out and do the most important thing. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.